Hello and welcome back to the NSESA State Finals. And this is Wayne versus Holdridge. Wayne on the blue side, Holdridge on the red side. And they are fighting for first place. This is for all the marvels, for all the pennies, the quarters, the whole dollars, the cake, everything. And it seems like Wayne is starting off with a Fizz and Zoe ban. And Holdridge is banning Leo... Leo and Xin Zhao. Oh, sorry, Galio and Galio and Xin Zhao. It seems like they're looking to pick out this, uh, ban out this, our um, jungler, seeing as Ahotep, the jungler on Wayne team, does play Xin Zhao a lot. And there is the Seraphine ban. Wow. Which is to be expected. Seraphine last game played excellent. Her ults were game changers. And so it also seems like they like they banned the Kai'Sa. I don't think that the ADC on the Wayne team plays Kai'Sa. Wait, oh, JK. Wayne banned the Kai'Sa. Because wasn't that how they won the game? Um, I forgot. But either way, we have a first pick, Echo, on the Wayne team. And we have a Samira pick on the Holdridge team. So it looks like we'll be looking at a Samira bot and an Echo mid. Hmm? And there's that Nidalee again. She has been quite consistent with her with her spears. So let's see how she plays this game. Ooh, and it does seem like Ahotep gets to get her Eve. She might not have gotten the Xin Zhao, but Eve, her, basically her second main, she did get. And I hope that she'll be good. And so Joker's Wild, the ADC, gets Caitlyn again. So that'll be good as well. Leona, ooh, that'll be interesting to see early game because she's quite oppressive. Level 2, she tends to engage right away. But seeing as Caitlyn has that longer range, maybe she just won't be in range, and she she won't have to step up as much. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, and so when I play when I play Leona against a Caitlyn, usually the E is just short, just because mm -hmm. Caitlyn has so much range. And so, but with the Leona Samira, yeah, Leona can definitely be a lot more bolder with that, and so I might expect a flash E. A few Ooh. times, and just into that Caitlyn because just the the chain CC that Samira and Leona can give are just so incredibly useful, especially against a lane bully. No, that makes a lot of sense. I think Holdridge is looking to shut that Caitlyn down early and hard, so this they won't, so the the Caitlyn won't have a chance anymore. But. I guess we'll see how it turns out. And it seems like they're wrapping up with Wayne with Fiora ban and Holdridge with a Mordekaiser and Orn ban. That Mordekaiser that we saw in the first game wrecking the entire map up, everything, messing it up, carrying the game hard, and ultimately practically almost being the reason that they won. And, then and they're on, taking on it away. Of that, the Trendomir pick with the ult that doesn't let him die, mm -hmm. that'll be also just another shutdown on the Wayne top lane. The Wayne top lane ended up going Aatrox for that great sustain in the lane, who is also another person that if, if he gets ahead, he stays ahead. Mm -hmm. And then so the support on Wayne is Morgana. So that Morgana Caitlyn combo is, mm -hmm. is pretty good. And Morgana here is an excellent pick. That black shield to block mm -hmm. Leona's CC and even Samir's CC, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. This Definitely. will give Ch uh, Caitlyn the chance to still step up and be a little bit more safe and just have it be less of a risk. Mm -hmm. And then the mid lane for uh, Holdridge is actually quirky. And so that's something that I've actually started seeing <clears throat> Excuse me, this last season. Mm-hmm. And so before that, I didn't see much mid lane quirky. No, definitely but it died off. The AP uh, 
scaling is pretty high on him. Mm -hmm. I think they, they did nerf it, but it's still pretty powerful. And so we might see a lot of AD on Holdred's side, depending on how Corky wants to play it. Mm -hmm. And while we are seeing a good 50-50 of AP AD on Wayne's side, with the Evelyn, the Echo, both AP... And then the Caitlyn and Aatrox, who are both AD. AD. And Morgana does do AP damage, but as she is support, I don't count that as much. But her Qs definitely do hurt. They definitely do, especially when combined with her W. She is just in a different ball game. And here we are, still waiting in spectator delay. And again... Do you think that there's any team ahead looking at team comp, looking at past games, even including your personal bias as the coach of the Wayne team? And so, just based on this, it's kind of up in the air. There looks to be a little bit of technical difficulties looking over from the game. seems that the Holdridge team needed a second to change keybinds. So the they game, have paused the game. The game is paused, should be shortly unpaused. And so, but yeah, based on based on mm -hmm. just this alone, honestly, I think that the bot lane from Holdridge does have the advantage mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. Samira and the Leona. Yeah. If they can get in range. True, true. Caitlyn... Caitlyn can just stay back and just keep in that back line, not let them get close. Mm -hmm. If they do get close, just E backwards, use that net. And so if she stays out of range and just doesn't let Samira get ahead, then it, it looks to be pretty even there. And so what they do sacrifice in damage and that, that just that control on the lane. Mm-hmm. They do have the range and just the just the pressure that Caitlyn and Morg also hold. I see. Well, it'll certainly be interesting to see how this plays out, plays out especially once the game is unpaused. And once we get out of spectators' delay and things get going again. But how's the, game, how's the day been going for you so far? So so far, it's been pretty pretty solid games. We had a very good start with Wayne versus Broken Bow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was quite quite the upset there, and that was just a good game all around. Good pressure on both sides. It started out pretty even, and then Wayne just blew ahead and stayed ahead. Stayed oh, ahead. 100%. And then that second game with Holdridge versus Amherst, Holdridge just blew them out of the water, which is what I'm actually a little bit worried about in this game. True. And Because they played that last game incredibly well mm -hmm. while Wayne was kind of slacking behind a little mm -hmm. bit. They definitely wavered and then came back and took mm -hmm. it. There was definitely not like Holdridge did, where it was just a clean sweep, not even giving the enemy chance, enemy a chance. Definitely, definitely. No, I, I agree, I agree. And so here we are in the game. It will be paused soon. So they might look like they're standing still. And so let us just switch around the scoreboard real quick Welcome to give you guys just a better yep and there, here is the there, pause the pause and then click ch yeah. chat no. so here is the game paused because <laughs> again old judge needed to edit there Keybinds. I guess it happens, you know? Sometimes you think you have something. There's been plenty of times where I've switched my flash and ignite around and had to change the keybinds. So it definitely does happen. It definitely does happen. But let's just wait for the game to be resumed and we'll get right back in it. You know, it's unbelievable how these kids have um, come so far. 
like especially the Wayne team. I don't know about Holdridge, but the Wayne team, they've only been playing since about I can't even remember. What was it? February, January, March? Yeah, something? no, started this last semester, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. only been playing for about maybe two months. But before that like, wasn't even an esports team or anything regarding esports at this is the school. the first season in mm -hmm. the Wayne High School that Mm -hmm. And East first, East first season in, and made state, mm -hmm. and immediately made state. Mm -hmm. These kids, they are so talented. I'm, I can't like I know I've said this so so many times, but I'm so incredibly proud to be their coach. Everybody, even the kids who aren't playing today, from the subs to the people who aren't who couldn't be here today, I'm so proud of all of these kids who put in, put in their time and their effort to practice to show up to practice just to have you know just to be there and even i admire so much the love that they have for the game how when they come to practice they tell me stories about how they play at home and it's just great and it does seem that the game is getting ready to be unpaused so let's wait for that one And the game has been resumed. Ooh, and it does look like Holdridge is looking for the five-man invade down bot. While at the same time, Wayne is looking for the five-man invade up top. This is quite hilarious. This is quite hilarious. And so neither team is going to find each other there. And so Wayne might actually wait. Or some of them might actually wait for that Trendomir to mm -hmm. back. Because most likely he'll come in ward. And so that Aatrox and the Evelyn might be able to take him level one. See, and there, Trendomir is passing up to go to top. Ooh, and they just missed each other. They just missed each other. Trendomir does be looking to pass up top and they might he and so might they get might him. see him they see him now and, and they, they started the engage on him Ooh. a little bit of lag there and trying to mirror ease, ease out of there spin move and so both teams will take the enemy red and then away inside might have to worry about a level two gank here because after that red they might nearly might immediately come by yeah that or they might, he, she might take raptors. Ooh, and that is a beautiful, just a little bit of poke from mm -hmm. the Morgana on the Wayne team. And so, Holdridge actually might have just seen Evelyn pathing through that jungle from the minions. Yeah. And Evelyn is looking for that gank up top. There's and... the charm. Charm is off. And that's about it from that top just fight. a little bit of damage, and she is out of there. And so Nidalee actually got a full clear on their bot side. And so she's actually up quite a bit of CS. Well, for early game. For early game, yes, of course. Plus, she has some good words going on in the mm -hmm. bot jungle. So that means that she'll have a good grasp on where, um, where the enemy jungler is. They were put right there. But yeah, and because the Nidalee actually full cleared Evelyn's jungle, that's one that CS that Evelyn is about to go and miss. Mm -hmm. And two, Nidalee at 12 CS right now can just go up and clear her entire bot side, and she'll just keep staying CS above. Mm -hmm. So Evelyn looking to go back top again, gets the charm, the spin move does, oh, but she flashes, charm gets off, and that's trying to mirror flash. Some good damage though, he's sitting about one third health left. And is this Nidalee looking just to get that dragon pit scouted out so she can maybe get the early drag at five minutes? And so she for sure gets the scuttle crab, so she knows that they have that they have vision on the drag pit now. And so whether or not they go for it is still up in the air. 
Ooh, that root hits the Leona. That was snipes her. Beautiful max range root. And so Corky. Ooh, and is this? They find the what? mid. The and ignite kills Corky. And first blood for Echo. Echo. And Beautiful so play. that's what I was just about to say was that mm. Corky doesn't do much damage until late game, mm -hmm. and it looks like he's going to go AD. So that is three AD for Holdridge. And so Corky doing damage late game is good for Echo because as he's also a late game champion, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to worry as much as if he was playing like a a Yasuo or somebody like that, or like a Talon, who once they hit six, they just win lane. I see, I see. Spear finds Morgana down in the bot lane that we just saw. Ooh, Aatrox and, Tr er, and Trenomir are still tussling a little bit. Both pretty low health. And so far, just based on- oh, there might be a fight. Nope, Trenomir, er, Aatrox gets out of there. Trenomir tries Backs to engage. Off. Mm -hmm. Just based on CS, Caitlyn is actually down about 15 CS right now. Which is, wow. And so early, especially for Samira, because mm -hmm. Samira is really good in between the mid game and, and early game. And it does seem game. like the Trindamir. Oh. Aatrox I mean, barely Aatrox escapes barely gets that. out. Wow. But, and so normally Samira is good. And it like, does seem like Corky is looking that. for that ward. And... Nidalee is looking for that early five minute Drake. Yeah, so they might be on Drake right now. It looks like they're doing it with the mid also there. Mm -hmm. It will be pretty easy to secure that, considering that Echo and Evelyn are both in the top jungle. They're not even going to try to co contest this if they even see it. And so that was a very, very well, mm -hmm. well thought out dragon play. That was very Definitely. Nice. So Aatrox was forced to teleport back top, while Trendemir is actually looking to back right now. And so bots also kind of stuck in the stalemate where neither team wants to necessarily go in. But it's pretty much whoever engages, if played wrong, loses. And Ooh, so it and does that find that Q, stun from Morgana. and that's another Q by Caitlyn. Extra damage. Nidalee is in the bot side, though, and so the, Wayne will have to keep that in mind as they keep playing that of lead. Of course, because at any point, especially with Nidalee's um, tiger form, mm -hmm. how she can just keep jumping and jumping and jumping, yeah, she can she... get to a lane quite quickly, and she'll yeah. be there, and she'll Q, and Jump on you, especially because when her Q hits mm -hmm. and when she's her in tiger when her form. Q hits and she's in tiger form after her, that, mm -hmm. then she can jump further mm -hmm. too, and so she can really get some good distance. And exactly. That's some more poke on a Samira. Exactly. Ooh. Oh, almost dead, but unfortunately they're only level five, so they don't have ult yet. How unfortunate. And it does seem like Corky is pushing up ahead in the mid lane, and ne Evelyn is looking at him from behind. And is this the kill they were looking for? That was for? a great stun by and... Echo. And another kill oh. for Aatrox top lane. Beautifully. And it's... so even after Holdridge's fantastic game, they're struggling a little bit this mm -hmm. game. They do have a dragon, an infernal dragon, but... Wayne is up three kills, though. Exactly. And so CS all throughout, or actually not all throughout, top and jungle are pretty about even. even. Mm -hmm. But mid, Corky's up about 18. And same in the bot lane, she's up about, about 14. 14. Samira is. And so they do, they do have a small gold lead, as you can see by the items that they have. Mm -hmm. Samira already has a Noon Quiver, but Caitlyn only has Boots and a Longsword. Mm -hmm. And so Samira's going to have a little bit more damage right now. Echo looking to come by. And Quirky following, Quirky not following. far behind. Echo's kind of stuck, but he does go in on the Quirky. He should just leave right now. The spear misses. He ults Ooh, back in and gets killed. killed. The ooh, ooh double Leona ult finds Morgana and Caitlyn that and was is able to get the kill. Well on played by Holdridge. That was really well played. And so now Holdridge 
just just like that caught up in the kills. Yep. And, and now they even they're surpassed more the Wayne in gold. In gold difference. They're up now in gold. Holdridge. And it's crazy how in such small fights, because it wasn't even a full team fight. Mm -mm. It wasn't even five and five. But in such a small moment, in about 15 to 10 seconds, mm -hmm. the game has turned. And so it looks like Nidalee and Trenomir might be looking for that Rift Hero top. Aatrox and Evelyn see it and might be going to contest that. Nidalee backed off. Smite and, Ooh, and rift Evelyn stolen. steals the rift and Good. gets a shutdown well on Nidalee beautifully. And that rift was given to Aatrox to use up top or wherever he pleases. Now the bot lane did for Holdridge did run up. Smear is backing now, and so that gives Wayne a little bit of wiggle room to mm -hmm. push ahead, get maybe a get a play, mm -hmm. and then they can back. Evelyn looking up top again. Gets the charm, but too early. Still finds him with the chains from Aatrox, but... And Trinomir had to ult to stay alive. Yep, he ulted, got out, and now he's back in. And so now, that was really well played. That was a well-timed gank, because Aatrox can now drop Rift. And possibly get first tower. I'm hoping. And there it is. There it and is. So yep, they're hoping for that charge. That very well could be first tower of the game. And we'll see soon. Yep, and that there is it first is. Tower Blue given team to, destroyed the first turret. Given to Aatrox. Good and job Evelyn. on that steal from Evelyn. And so Aatrox actually might find herself in quite a bit of a bind. But they might just decide to back off, let him go. They don't and really want to fight. Evelyn Nearly is Q here to back him up Evelyn. if he needs it. And if that, if that Q actually mm -hmm. hit Aatrox... They might have gone in on that, and so it's very unfortunate. Oh, they're still going in on the Evelyn. One more ult. Ooh, Ooh barely, barely missed. missed. Wow. But if if the Q hit Aatrox, mm. then they would have only seen Aatrox. Evelyn would have remained invisible. And so Nidalee could have gone in on that, and that would have been the end for Nidalee. Yeah. Looking for another dragon. This would be second dra drag for Holdridge. Do if you think they the get it? Wayne can steal it. With Evelyn far behind, I don't think so. But it's up in the air. Nope, they do end up securing the dragon. Mm -hmm. Aatrox does find the kill on Leona. Trendomir ult down. Echoed narrowly out. Flashed over the wall. And that is they Quirky find, also gone, perhaps? They find the kills on Nidalee, mm -hmm. Corky, and Trendomir. Very well played. While they didn't get the dragon, they did get three kills. They picked up quite a few kills, which puts Wayne at eight to two over Holdridge. Mm -hmm. It's and going amazingly for with, them. With first tower, Wayne actually is up ahead about three K mm -hmm. gold now. Mm -hmm. So Leona's looking a little, little weakened. There's Samira W, and so they can kind of poke. They find. The Evelyn, she might be dead. The Ooh, Ignite oh, kills her. Just that, those ticks. And that's and a teleport from Corky coming down bot. And Morgana looking weak still. Caitlyn stepped up again, and she gets Ooh, ulted. And that is Black Shield comes in, but she still dies. Corky found her with that package. How unfortunate. Just that one mistake of stepping mm -hmm. back up and going back in. That little stutter step cost mm -hmm. her her life. Mm-hmm. And so that is a that was a shutdown on Evelyn too for 300, and so that's quite a bit of gold. It was to Leona though, because of Ignite. Mm -hmm. That's still a, a good amount of gold that Leona can put towards probably armor or AP, because both one AP person and one armor or and one AD person are doing very well. Echo's also doing well, and so she might put it a little bit more towards some magic resist. Oh, I see, I see. That would indeed be the move. <coughs> but overall, this game is going great. We have 3-0-3 <coughs> zero, and three, Aatrox in the top lane. We have 3-1-1 one, one, Evelyn in the jungle. And there we have Echo looking for Corky, and he did indeed find him. He did indeed find him. And 
they are looking to push mid up, possibly get a grab of a couple of plates. Mm -hmm. And Aatrox is just unrelentingly pushing top. Nidalee's coming up to help, but will it be anything? Mm hmm. And that was beautifully played by the Morgana as well. That black shield, and then the Q on Samira and not Leona. Because if Leona, even if she E's on, she can't do that much damage without Samira. So putting, placing that Q on Samira instead of the Leona was beautifully played. Beautifully played. And Aatrox is out, has joined mid lane. Trindamir seems to be pushing top, maybe trying to do something up there. And Echo once at it again. Ooh, and Zonias. Mm. Under the tower. Ooh, but that. But still, that is a. 300 gold bounty for Trindamir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. Seems that the Wayne team is having a bit too much fun out here. Singing and chanting. They are quite excited. Was unmuted. And that would be Aatrox's first death. <laughs> 413, 110 CS. And so he did pull up a little bit ahead of Trendemir in CS, but not too far. Still still kind of matching, but definitely a little bit of gold ahead. And then definitely. Evelyn and Nidalee are both pretty even. 8177. But Corky and Echo. And then Caitlyn and Samira are still where the CS different lies. Samira is up almost 40 CS. No to be a fight. Echo going in. Evelyn gets the kill. Corky and dives Viking far. Going in, but does she get found? He does by Caitlyn. Oh, he doesn't. He still oh. survived. But oh, and Echo Evelyn shut. Looking toward Will she get Evelyn him? Got and him. and that's that it. is four for one, one. trade in favor of Wayne. That might be Dragon and hopefully a first tier to it if mm -hmm. turret. If and it does look right. like Aatrox is hitting up top to try and defend that tower once again. And so while Aatrox just died, he already has a 150 mm -hmm. bounty. Mm -hmm. And it does look like he's not there in time, but he might be able to pick up that kill on Trendemir. Yeah, and so Trying to find him, dashes over the wall. Trendemir with his dashes are just too fast for Aatrox. And so, the mid, it's... I, I'd honestly say it might be towards even. Mm -hmm. While Corky does have quite a bit of CS on him, Echo does have a lot more kill kills and assists kills mm -hmm. and assists mm -hmm. he is he's up one kill but he's also up five assists exactly exactly and so corky might be a little bit ahead on gold but not enough to make that big of a difference exactly exactly and so same with caitlin and samira samira is definitely pulling ahead though sitting at exactly 40 cs above at the moment and but Caitlyn's only up one more CS, or one more assist, assist. than Samira. They're looking to find the Evelyn here. They think they found her. She ults out, got some help from that. Echo and Morgana come from behind. They're oh, still Corky chasing. is TPing in. TP from Corky. They're still chasing. They find the kill Ooh. on Samira, barely. 
and then that's Samira and Trinimir down. And that Yona is also Yona. If, will they get Finds her? The and third tick wow. for Echo. A double kill on Echo. And Echo's looking that for that triple on Nidalee. Corky coming. Oh, and he decides to change targets and Just walk Corky mid, instead. But Corky might be out. And so that was a 3 4 1 trade. Evelyn, who did have a bounty for the Trendemir, for the Samira, and for Leona. Ooh, Good and that Morgana is another Q. Morgana Q has just been Solid on poke. it this game. Solid poke. And so Samira might stop their backs. Oh, Trend Aatrox looking at Samira. Got her, and she dashes through him. Ults, that was a pretty, that was a damaging ult for Samir. That was very well Ooh. timed. They might find the kill on both of them, to be completely honest. And that is the Leona ult yep. on Aatrox, and there's nothing that he could do about that. How unfortunate. So that was very unfortunate for Wayne. Drag is spawning in two minutes, but just the amount of pressure that they just mm -hmm. lost because they died was insane. Like, if they stayed alive, backed, kind of just reset, Regrouped. and then went mm -hmm. back in, it would have been a lot more effective it than, really been. than dying right there. Because there were about, what was that, three, four people there? Mm hmm. And now Trinomir even has a chance to put that um, Rift Herald up top. Trinomir and he might even rip. get the turret. Echo found the root, found the stun. Ooh. Even before Trendemir could ult, they popped him. This Echo is getting quite dangerous, though. He definitely bounty. is. He completed his proto belt. Corky trying to find Morgana. Finds her. She ults. Doesn't find the stun. Oh. But. They get Corky in trade of Morgana, which is always worth okay, it. Honestly. Support for mid? Yes. Yes. Anytime. And that is possibly the mid turret. They decided to back off. They didn't have any minions to get that first here. Mm -hmm. And so Drag is up in a minute. So both teams might be starting to set up pretty soon. I see them pinging it in chat, especially on the Holdridge side, mm -hmm. just letting everybody know that that's the next objective we have to worry about. Mm -hmm. And if Holdridge gets this, this will be soul. This will be soul point. Mm -hmm. And so this drag is also pretty important because if Wayne gets it, and they have, they have a little bit more time to breathe, not worry about dragon. But if they if Holdridge gets it then the drag after this will be extremely vital. Oh, and that is the is that it? Zonia's on Nidalee, and she's out. They she weren't looks quite to out. able to find the Nidalee kill, but Samira they did gets find up Samira. In the middle. Evelyn found Corky down in the bot lane, and so drag is up in 10 seconds, and they might just burst the dragon, because that's, ha that's nearly half that's their damage. Team. Yeah. And so Leona is looking to kind of do something. Echo finding the stun on her, getting the third tick off. She's very tanky. Leona ult comes out, she flashes over the wall, possibly gets out. Aatrox going in, Ooh. and the Guardian wow. from Leona. And it looks like Evelyn has started to Drake, and the rest of her team is catching up. And so Trendemir is actually pushing the mid, though, and so he might get the second tier while they're doing Drake. And so Aatrox is looking to find him. He just spins out as he does because yeah, he's per usual. And so that Aatrox is looking to follow. Uh, they might find him with the Morgana and the Ooh. Evelyn coming around. But again, just that spin to win just keeps evading them. Charm the root found more Morgana, lets Ooh. them get the kill and possibly. But he does he take out Evelyn. He does take out Evelyn before the kill ends up getting to Echo. So that is a one for one trade. But Trendemir did get that shutdown gold on Evelyn, and so honestly, I'd say that's more worth for Holdridge than for Wayne.
as we stand right now, the scoreboard is looking at 22 to 11 in favor of Wayne. Wayne is about 3k, 4k up in the, in gold. And it seems like they're looking for a team fight down mid. And Samira does keep getting ahead and ahead mm -hmm. as time goes on on CS. Yes. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely, she's still just racking up that CS while Caitlyn slowly falls behind. And so Caitlyn is 0, 2, and 7, while Samira is 1, 3, three and 5. five. But the and CS so, difference is just... Yeah, that CS difference is very large, sitting at about 60. And even in the top lane, while Aatrox is 6, 2, and 9, and the um, Trindamir is 3, 6, and 1, everything he lacks in kills, he has been making up in objectives, making getting objectives. towers. And that's and another kill for mm -hmm. Trindamir. He, he's very dangerous just because of his ult. Truly. And Evelyn is an assassin. Once she goes in, it's hard for her to get back out unless and she has her ult. Holdridge pushing up in the middle lane again. That second tier. Echo going in. Oh, and Echo is getting caught, caught out. Old. And that is the ult. That Leona oh! Though. And he does end up falling. But hopefully Aatrox can pick up these two kills. Let's see. Will he be able and to? he doesn't Ooh. end up finding the new lead so far. He does he find, does find oh, the Leona. And something is about to happen in three minutes. I'm <laughs> very minutes. excited for it. I <laughs> guess you'll see it here first in about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> And they finally did get mid first tier turret. And so so far they're pretty even. While Wayne does have more kills, everything else mm -hmm. with Trendemir split pushing the entire time. He has been just getting objectives. And that he is Trendemir. There. Wow. I guess without his ultimate, it's just it's Yep, his ult is up in just a little bit, so he didn't have it for that last mm -hmm. fight. But I think Trendemir's gotten probably three was it two at least two towers solo definitely definitely and possibly that third tower a little bit of help from others but for the most part that was a solo tower as well mm -hmm. and so that and him just getting getting cs getting objectives that split push is just very crucial right now and i think that's exactly Ooh, what Holger and there it seems to be a fight Morgana flash ult down. Zonia's as well. They're trying to find the Leona. Doesn't find the Leona. Kills the Smira. Morgana falls. Looking for the Corky next. Aatrox does not find the Corky. And they're chasing the Nilly now. The Aatrox hot on her tail. And that is a, that's a the knock missed that's the charm. charm. But, uh, that's a charm. And oh! Then that could possibly be second tier mid turn. Beautifully played. And, so and with Drake up in one. about 40 seconds, this will be ideal for them. Well... Holtridge responds in about 20 to 30 seconds, and so they could run, like, hard to Dragon. True. And so I'm expecting a drag fight right now, and Trendemir honestly might just keep pushing top. Just True. to, maybe he can maybe get that second tier and the inhib turret by the time that drag actually falls. Here we are, waiting for the dragon to spawn. Holdrick doesn't seem that they really care about this one all that much, even though this will be soul point for Wayne. So they screw that third dragon. Aatrox is heading in. Corky with a Q. Wayne did get the, their third Corky Drake. out of there. Wow, that was a far dash. Echo just got Ooh. sniped by that Corky. Corky just in and out. Aatrox on Leona. Finds nobody with the stun, but he hits the snare. Chains finds Samira. She ults. Wow, what a powerful ult. Got most of them low health. Aatrox still coming in clutch. And as I said earlier, that Trendemir in the base is looking for the end. And he is, he is as running. As Aatrox chases down. Is she going to find... Yes, and that is the chains on Nidalee. Trendemir does unfortunately take... Top and Hib, though. What a trade. And so it was a Drake four for, for four two. kills. But yep. 
But you also have to think about it. That was two towers. That was an and inhibitor. An so that lane is going to be pushing in constantly now. That is just one more thing to worry about for the Wayne team. Yeah, because once they get those super minions in, it's going to be hard for Wayne to mm -hmm. just keep pushing back top lane. And so now, Trendemir can have the liberty of going bot lane, and because of super minions, top lane will keep pushing Out. automatically. Mm Both teams are kind of caught in a stalemate because there's not many objectives that are available right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, while Baron is it's up, up, it's not really a prime time to take it. It for really isn't. Team. And so, Trendemir looking for the Evelyn might actually catch her. If she has ult, she ults out, gets continuously Ooh. chased. Ooh, Trendemir flash. flash. Evelyn flash. Evelyn flash. She goes Ooh. and she gets the kill before he can ult. Wow. wow. That was heavy burst damage. That was beautifully played by the Evelyn. Wow. Ahotep on Evelyn. Ooh, for the Wayne team. I did not Amazing. expect her to kill him. Neither did I. That was quite, took me by surprise. Truly. And so, we see that... Wayne is still continuously pushing mid. Corky seems to be coming on from the right side. And so all five of Wayne are mid. They might look for a dive. They find the stun on Samira. And she ults but dies. And then Echo looking for another kill but unfortunately gets caught. The third tick does a ton of damage onto Corky. And here is Aatrox again to clean it up and he's cleaning and up the that's board. that's a double kill. And he's Nidalee. looking for that Nidalee triple kill. And, and Evelyn the kill takes Evelyn. it. Mm -hmm. And they should honestly keep pushing this if they have minions. Yeah, because it's it's four to one or three to one. Morgan doesn't have much health. Trendemir does still have ult, unfortunately, but he, he did just get caught. It. Mm -hmm. And is that an ult kill? Ooh, doesn't kill Trendemir with the Caitlyn ult. Quite. And so they only have five seconds to get this next turn and back. They got one, and they know that they just have to leave right now, or yep. else they're gonna die. Yep. And so Wayne is out of there. And that was a big, big push. Big it really was. For Wayne. Their Holdridge's mid is completely pushed in. Mm -hmm. They have no more towers, no inhibitors up in the mid lane. It is they're playing it. Wayne is playing it beautifully. Mm -hmm. Wayne is playing it beautifully. And that that was was mm -hmm. that two towers and, and an inhib? That was yeah. two towers and an inhib. That was that was great. That was uh, so that was like an answer for Trendemir's top lane. Uh huh. Uh huh. He got as well two towers and an inhib. Trendemir does seem to be pushing bot lane though, looking for that second tier. Yeah. And so Aatrox kind of standing in base. Hopefully he will answer that. Trendemir does look to be backing though. Trendemir's probably backing, looking for that Baron. Mm -hmm. And with oh, the Drake the up dragon, in maybe. 35 seconds, it looks like Holger just trying to set it up. And so Evelyn and uh, Kate are out of place. Echo tries to go and fi tries to find the Nidalee. And Corky ults in. I mean, TP's in. And they there goes the Morgana. Morgana. They do kill the Corky on his package into Echo. Trinimir trying to look for something. Trinimir ulting, ult ult getting stuck. Stun for Echo. And, and that is it. That's Trinimir down. And Dragon so, up in two seconds. Holdridge mid and top are both dead. Hopefully, oh, they find the kill on Ooh. Evelyn. They do find the kill on her. And that is 300 bounty. Samira and that is a beautiful in. ult from Samira. Will Aatrox does die, and that is an ace. Wow. For, for Holdridge. And that is Holdridge's third Drake that for them. Probably third Drake. All the while, Top is still pushing it all the way to Wayne's base. That, that constant mm -hmm. super minion push is very, very crucial right now because mm -hmm. Wayne has to answer that or else they might lose a next turret. Morgana is up minions. and she's trying to fight it, but there's not much that she can do without her team. And so Holdridge is looking for the Baron right now. They Ooh, end and up they started it. 
because Evelyn, Evelyn just got up. Is she making a mad dash towards Baron? They nope, are doing I think, it. I think that Holdridge will secure this Baron. Mm-hmm. Unless... Nope, Morgana couldn't find this sneaky Q. Oh, but she does end up getting caught. Oof. Oh, no. And so they sacrificed the Baron reset for the kill on Morgana. And they might be backing off a of Baron now. Yeah, because now that Morgana kind of gave them vision, mm -hmm. they can't really continue Baron unless they want to fight. And Echo and Aatrox are really strong right now, and so they don't really want to do that. But earlier when they were sneaking it, that would have been a pretty good Baron. Trendemir choosing the split push strategy and again. That bot tower might be gone now. It could be. Caitlyn is heading down bot to try and fight it, but and so Trendemir might actually back now. He did. He did just want to put some pressure on that, and so now he might be looking for the reset, and he just seems to be walking way back. And so this is a pretty high kill game for Wayne. 39 kills to 23, that is pretty high. But just like this entire game, the gold is staying relatively the yeah. same. Wayne about 3k gold ahead at all times this game. <laughs> and we also have to think about the fact that Holdridge only has one Nexus turret left. True. And Wayne, their inhibitor is back up, so they're not getting any more super minions. And so they'll probably want to either fight soon while they're not, while they don't have to worry about any other lanes. Yes. And that's probably what they'll end up doing. They're looking at that bot second tier. Samira is sitting in that bush. And oh, she and she Evelyn. does surprise the Evelyn. Let's see. What's and oh, Evelyn does have the flash and. Evelyn Samir finds found Morgana. Ooh. And Samir finds Morgana. Wow. They got caught out there. That is very unfortunate. Dragon is up in two minutes, so that wasn't the worst. But Trendemir is looking for that inhibitor. Leona giving chase to Caitlyn, getting slowed by Caitlyn, by Leona's ult. And there is Corky. That is a giving lot of heart damage chase. from Ooh, Corky. And Does that is Caitlyn, unfortunately old. dead. Echo looking at Trendemir. Will they end up getting him? He Ooh, ults Flash. Ooh, oh, the Hextech that was Proto beautiful. Belt barely clips him. Beautiful played. And Clip just about his toenail. Just his toenail. Wow. Beautifully played. And so Aatrox and Echo do find themselves in a little, a little and pickle Aatrox here. Aatrox is having an ult and Aatrox did, did find die. find that third tick on Leona, but he did end up dying. Honestly, uh, if, it, if they had minions, that could have been game. It really could have been. Just the Leona and the Evelyn alive, that could have been game if minions were there. So they do look for that Baron. Drag is up in 50 seconds. And so Holdridge is really going to need to get this Baron back and then just run by. And so it looks like both teams everybody should be up and so this is about to be a very crucial soul fight because mm -hmm. this is for dragon soul and so evelyn is already kind of there setting up clearing out wards morgana soon to come to more ward up and then caitlin is there provide some damage they are getting answered by evelyn or not evelyn by nidalee corky and samira coming as well as trying to mirror tp from aatrox and that is a Ooh. Trendemir caught. He does get his ult off this time. Evelyn ult. Corky flash out of there. Samira also flash. Trendemir dies. Morgana gets found. Evelyn Ooh. also gets found. And then it's Aatrox, Aatrox caught up huge. Four of them. But Echo but finally joined in the fight. Oh, and Aatrox. And that. Oh my goodness. It seems that the game has finished. Stay the tuned for about <laughs> three minutes to see how it see, so see Corky, find out who Corky wins. Is Corky is teleporting in the base, into the base. Looking for that, and it seems to be... the X-Peck and... And so he does have Baron buff, so it is...
Very and it is getting close. Echo oh, doesn't end up getting the dash. Caitlyn and Caitlyn staying gets, for soul. Gets that soul. is Dragon Soul found for Wayne team. That is a big lead. They do end up getting one of the Nexus turrets, I believe. Yep, they do get one of the, the Nexus, Nexus turrets. turrets. So this Echo is getting couldn't to be close. Them. And so now it's almost exactly, exactly even. Both teams have secured seven towers on the other side. The, the kills are for, um, 45 to 39. This goal difference is not that much. Even though Wayne is up about 14 kills, mm -hmm. the CS with Trendemir is now up 78 wow. on Aatrox. And Evelyn is up 50 on Nidalee. Wow. Corky and Echo have a uh, huge CS difference. difference. Corky is nearly up 100 CS. Even Samira and Caitlyn, the the despair, the, the 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 disparity in CS is amazing. Mm -hmm. And even if you if you want to look at it, the Morgana Leo the Mor CS <laughs> difference is quite a that, bit. That, what, that 20, 20 CS, you know, 20 that, CS, incredible. 20 CS. That, that, that Honestly, that ca that does I change never the game. Like that <laughs> you know, many people neglect <laughs> to look at the support. CS difference, but that's where the real stats are, Caleb. <laughs> and so here we see a five man Holdridge now split the 3 2, looking at Trendemir and Nidalee going bot with Corky, Samira, Leona mid, answering by four, by a 1 4 offense by Wayne with Caitlyn top, which actually is very questionable because she is the ADC, so they do want the damage to mm -hmm. be there. But at the same time, they can't sacrifice the damage that the Aatrox gives. Of course. And so, I think they just have to five-man mid. And they do find the Corgi. And, and the, the Echo stun on the Leona. They find the and Samira as well, looking for the Nidalee chase. And Leona's gone. Echo, and Echo e gets Q doesn't quite get, get her at the moment. But... And then and one there more, she is. and she's found. And that is it. Trendemir's still Trendemir's, bot. But he's backing. And he's trying that, to defend. That is where that hurt him. Mm -hmm. He split pushed a little bit too much because he he's been looking at that tower for, for the second long half time. of the game. Mm -hmm. And so this might actually be the end of the game for Wayne. A big and upset is might tries happen. To ult and Trinimir ults, finds the Evelyn, finds the double, Echo, but he is gone. And that, ladies gone, and gentlemen, is and that game. Is game for Wayne State. And that makes Wayne State the first place winner in the NSC SA tournament. Division wow. 2. That is incredible. Wow. All right. There's a five minute break. Video taping. There's, there will be a five minute break and then we'll be, we will be bleh, doing awards. So <laughs> be, looking, be on the lookout for that. Alright. This has been a great. It really has been. Oh, did you cut it off? I accidentally cut you off. No, you're good.